Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we watched a movie. We did, we watched a couple of them. Yeah, it's a big movie day. It is Mulan Day, but on Netflix we also have a pretty great new movie called... I'm thinking of ending things. I thought you were waiting for me to say it, but I oh. forgot. <laughs> well, you didn't chime in, that's for no. darn sure. <laughs> Okay, so it is a book. I recently read it. It is a horror psychological thriller by Canada's own Ian Reid. Um, and then it was adapted to the screen, directed by crazy old Charlie, Charlie Kaufman. Kaufman. <laughs> the weirdest movies, man. He yes. makes such strange things. And I love them all. I would love to actually look inside his brain the way he did to poor John, John Malkovich. <laughs> Um, he just thinks differently and I think that's remarkable and I love stories that push your understanding of what a story is and can be. And this one does. Oh well, yeah, it does. It <laughs> Certainly the book itself everything. is, yeah, the book itself is pretty twisty, turny, odd and wonderful. Uh, Charlie Kaufman does take it to a new level. So if you've read the book, you can still watch the movie and be surprised and horrified. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't read the book, which I didn't, mm -hmm. it still is pretty cohesive. It makes sense, even if it goes to a different place. <laughs> okay, makes sense is wrong. <laughs> makes sense is the wrong thing to call but this movie. It's but it's very consistently okay. bizarre. Okay. So it is about uh, a young couple, an unnamed woman, or a, a variously named, named woman, woman. Yeah. Uh, who is like our narrator, gets in her boyfriend's car, Jake. They are driving out, out through the dark, snowy country roads to see his parents. They've only been together like seven weeks, so she's finding it a little early to go and meet the parents. Well, especially because she's thinking, thinking of ending, ending things. things. <laughs> yes, especially because of that. So she is thinking about that in her head during this drive. Like, why am I even doing this? This is crazy. I'm going to meet his parents and I don't even know if I like this guy. And then the two of them are having these long, complicated philosophical discussions. And then there's some like confusion as to which parts of these conversations are, have been out loud. <laughs> Definitely some, mm -hmm. because Jake is asking her what she's saying. Yes. When she's thinking of ending things. <laughs> yes. So, some strange stuff has been happening. We are seeing, I don't even know whether we should call them flashbacks or flash forwards or just random Sideways. flashes of things yeah. of a different story of a like a janitor in a school sometimes we see, sometimes we see like teenagers. How are they connected to this? Whose memories are we seeing? It's kind of vague as to what, where this comes from. And meanwhile, uh, the lady, the girlfriend, is getting some phone calls that are a little iffy. Uh, they're very iffy. They're mm -hmm. bizarre. Okay, they're bizarre. Yes. <laughs> so eventually they get to his parents' place and he has done everything he can to prepare her. Um, and yeah, it does sound like Maybe she doesn't really want to meet these people. He's not also the best, like, hype man for his no. own family, let me say. No, he's not. It sounds like he is dreading this visit more than she is. So why are they going? It's a very good question. It is question. a good question. But it's too late. They're there. Uh, the welcome wagon does not come out to greet them, which is fine because he's not ready to go in. No, that's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, everything is awkward. Oh, Plus, very, yeah. <laughs> like awkward is as good as it oh, gets. Yeah, the mom is asking some weird invasive questions and then she takes it to weird and inappropriate places and she's got a cackle that makes everyone <laughs> sweat. Yeah. Wonderfully played by Toni Collette, by the way. Oh yeah, she's great. I have not yet mentioned any actors. I'm glad I started with Toni Collette because I love her to pieces. And she's been finding a lot of horror roles to sink her teeth into that are quite juicy. And this one is. Yeah, I think she's in a good place where mm. she is able to do whatever she yeah, wants. That's right. And everyone wants her. Mm -hmm. So she has her pick. Yeah. And she is making some great choices. Yes. 
So is Jessie Buckley, who is playing the girlfriend, who I fell in love with in Wild Rose. Uh, so it was kind of startling for me to see her in this because suddenly she's not Irish anymore. <laughs> she's probably so Irish. <laughs> probably. We'll have to check. Uh, and Jesse, the other Jesse, Jesse Plemons, plays the boyfriend. And uh, David Thewlis is, of course, the dad. The creepy so, dad. So uh, if you're counting, that is three people from Fargo in this movie. I think maybe Charlie Kaufman watches Fargo. I think that's a safe bet. It's that on does Netflix. seem like a show that he would yeah. geek out yeah, over. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's right. If, if Charlie Kaufman's not watching Fargo, who is, <laughs> What's really? What's the point of Who else is this for? Yeah. <laughs> I think just like there's just like three directors making movies for each other just to be like oh yeah you yeah. think that's weird <laughs> this one is weird it's very um, weird so it's weird from the start and then it gets weird, worse and then it just and worse yes uh, yeah <laughs> it is a, a, a tailspin for yeah. sure so the house is weird the stuff in the house the people but even our narrator, even the girl is getting weird. Like she's having weird memory things. She's yeah. having time issues, yeah. I, issues with time and identity, just recognizing things. Even her speech, she's forgetting words. She's stuttering. Like yeah, what the heck is it's happening? Not just her. So I think it's around dessert time that things go from creepy to just completely surreal. Like you start losing your grip on reality. You have to question everything. Certainly, she is questioning everything. Well, she better As she be. She should. Yes, there are some big unanswered questions, like what's in the basement? Like what's upstairs? What's outside? What's going on with the weather? Are you ever going to go home again? Probably not. <laughs> well, she's very insistent that they do go home that night. Yeah, she's got uh, some stuff the next day. Yes. So they do eventually get back in their car into this dark and snowy night. So, did I mention Ian Reid, the author of the book, is Canadian? You did. Good, because he lives right here in Ontario, and he was inspired to write this novel in part by dark and snowy drives on very dark Ontario farm roads, which yeah, you which and is I all both yeah. know a lot about. Oh, absolutely. It's awful driving. Mm -hmm. You can't see more than five feet in front of you. It's just a wall of white, your yeah. headlights reflect off the snow, it's driving blind. It, yes, it's very creepy. Um, it is like driving with a blindfold on and there's a sense of claustrophobia I find in the car just because you can't see anything beyond yeah. it. And there's a, there is kind of a sense of terror because you almost can imagine anything being just beyond the car. Oh, sure. And sometimes there has been. Yeah. You could run into a mouse, a mouse, a moose. Yeah. You could run into a snowbank. People have driven completely off the road because you just lose orientation yeah. totally. You can follow someone into a ditch. That's <laughs> Spoken from experience, it sounds yeah. like over here. <laughs> but no, I mean, that is too true. Yeah. And so when they even turn off the dark and scary road to a darker, scarier road, I mean, that's when we should all just wave the white flag because we are done with any sense of normal, normalcy. <laughs> Anything familiar is just done with us. You're going to want to yell at people for what they're doing. You're going to want to turn it off and fume <laughs> silently for minutes. Uh, is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Okay. This is a good movie to be on Netflix mm -hmm. because if you're into it, you can watch this 10 yes. times and probably notice something new every single yes. time. Yes. There's so much in this movie. Well, I do want to rewatch it because are there breadcrumbs? Are there clues? You know, I think when you know how it ends, then maybe you can rewatch it with a different sort of lens. Well, for sure, because as you said, like we have these strings at the very beginning that we have no idea what to make sense of. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't make sense of them by the end, but at least I knew kind of a little more. A little more where things slot in. Yeah. Who? It's a doozy though. Yeah, it and is. For me, like the movie wasn't as scary, I think, as the book. I didn't find the movie scary. It's disorienting. Okay. Well, I think for me, there was some anticipation of the stuff that happens in the books that didn't necessarily come to pass in the movie. 
which is fine. I, you know, I think it's totally okay for someone adapting a book to go in a slightly different way. And of course, Charlie Kaufman is like, if anybody's going to have some ideas to add to this disorienting thing, it's him. Yep. And it's kind of nice for a reader to be surprised again, rediscovering this in another format. So boy, I mean, it is, it's, it's fun. It's fun for movie lovers like us who want to be challenged, who want to have to work a little bit. Oh, this will make you work. Oh yeah, it, it will. <laughs> <laughs> and that ending. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit just, just, off kilter, off yeah. any sort of expectation, comes out of nowhere almost. Um, and yeah, you're going to chew on it and you're going to let us know in the comments what you think it all means. Tell me what happened. Because it's definitely open to interpretation. <laughs> well, I mean, good luck in finding that interpretation. <laughs> well, I know what it all means, but I don't uh, know. Yeah. You're fun. Don't spoil it for me after I've seen it. <laughs> and you still don't understand. So no, what's your excuse? I don't understand it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He's seen it, guys. Yeah. Well, it is a weird one. It is not for everyone, and that's okay, but yeah, it's there okay. for you on Netflix if you want to roll the dice, if you want to challenge yourself this weekend, get into something that's meaty. Yeah, I think if you like <laughs> Charlie Kaufman's other stuff, mm -hmm. this is going to be like more of the same mm -hmm. in a way. It's obviously different than what's come before, mm -hmm. but it's still just weird, weird stuff. Weird, weird stuff. <laughs> Is that a promise? That, that's a promise. That's okay. a guarantee. Okay. Good it's to weird. Know. Good to know. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you think if you've read the book or seen the movie and have yourselves a really good day. Bye. Bye.